In this age of entitlement, you see so many people insisting on their rights that it's easy for that to rub off on us too. But let's not imagine that this is somehow a new phenomenon. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. Back in the first century AD, when Christianity was being birthed out of Judaism, there was much controversy amongst these new Christians about what food you could eat, what meats were clean and unclean, were you allowed to drink wine? On it went. Of course, most of those issues for most Christians are settled these days. But what the Apostle Paul was speaking into as we head into this scripture is the fact that the insistence of some on exercising their newfound freedoms was undermining the faith of others. We who are strong ought to put up with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us must please our neighbor for the good purpose of building up the neighbor. For Christ didn't please himself, but as it's written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. His point? Even if you feel you're entitled to something, I mean strongly believe that you're right. Being right, winning the argument, isn't the end game we should be going for. Instead, consider the impact of your rights, what you believe you're entitled to, on your neighbor, even if your neighbor's clearly wrong. In other words, God's message to us is this, don't insist on your rights if it's going to damage someone else. Just as Christ didn't please himself, but instead went to the cross to pay for your sin and mine. Stop hurting others by pleasing yourself. That's God's word, fresh for you today. God has so many good things in store for those who will humble themselves before him. That's why I'd love to send you a free copy of our latest life application booklet. It's called Promises You Can Depend On. To request yours, stop by at ChristianityWorks.com and you'll see that free offer right there toward the top of the homepage. Again, that's ChristianityWorks.com. <music>